Everybody, it's Ryan doing a quick overview with my son, who is the professional astrophotographer in the family, and he's going to do a overview of this Celestron Barlow 3X lens. It has these uh, lids on on the top and bottom of it, so that you can keep the mirrors clean and protected. It has these uh, three types of co uh, lens coloring in it. And it's uh, red, blue, and green, all in this type of area right here. And that's just going to make it so that's going to be easier to look on planets, because this is exactly what it's for, not exactly on deep sky objects. And this thing right here is just for, you know, easily picking it up and all. And you see, this one's all a bit different, because this one actually has this, or like it pushes this back. That's just so that it doesn't damage your uh, eyepiece in any way when you're putting it in here. Just like this. So that this thing right here protects it so that it doesn't damage the eyepiece. Just like that. And then you tighten it and it'll be perfectly locked in. And if you're wanting to connect it to your telescope, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you need to do is just to you know, go to your telescope, take the lens, or the cap off, and then put this on here. You put it on it just like this, like it's a uh, regular eyepiece, and then of course you tighten it. And then here we have the nine millimeter eyepiece that we just easily put right here, and just tighten it, and then boom, there you have it. It's a, here you have the Celestron Barrow lens, a three times her lens with a nine millimeter eyepiece, which is basically uh, tripling the, the uh, view of how close you're looking at your object. So a nine mil so with a nine millimeter with a three times that'll get you uh, three three millimeter, which would be just equal to if you had just had a three millimeter. So you don't you don't need to buy a new one. If you want to connect it up to your camera, this is what you need to do it. And then you just carefully put this on there and then tighten it. And then this is maybe really long and looks really goofy, but this is how it's going to work.